if elected on June 2nd, an Ontario Liberal government will, within one year of taking office, deliver on a handgun ban province-wide here in Ontario. Ontario's Liberal Party issues a nonsensical plan to deal with shootings on our streets. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. We've all seen the stories over the years, the guys who shoot up a, a party, including a kid's birthday party. That happened last year, one that involved a couple of people who'd been banned from owning guns. Yes, well, instead of dealing with people like that, people who are already on the wrong side of the law, people who have decided that shooting up a child's birthday party is a good thing to do, people who are repeat offenders, Ontario Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca wants to ban handguns, not from these punks that shot up the kid's birthday party, but from people who are legally licensed to own guns for sport shooting, people who have passed a background check, done a safety course, been vetted by the RCMP. That's who he wants to take guns away from, people not breaking the law. Why? He says it will solve the gun crime problem. It won't. At the same time, he's accusing Ontario Premier Doug Ford, PC party leader, of standing with the gun lobby. And the fact that the Ford Conservatives continue to refuse to do the right thing, the fact that they continue to insist on standing with the gun lobby instead of standing with the people of Ontario is absolutely appalling. It is reckless and it has to change. Let me make one thing clear. Doug Ford doesn't know the gun lobby. I don't know if he likes them or dislikes them, but he doesn't know them. I know the gun lobby. I've been around them a long time. Doug Ford doesn't see this as an issue that he wants to get involved in, but what he does want is to focus on the real issues. Stopping the smuggling of handguns in from the United States, which is the real problem, and reforming bail, which is another problem. We're going to invest more than $25 million above and beyond existing funding of $76 million to support the fight against guns and gangs. Only one mission, keeping violent gun criminals behind bars and away from bail. Both of those require federal leadership. Stephen Del Duca would rather go along with Justin Trudeau's failed plan of banning guns from people who are legally licensed and RCMP vetted and spending billions buying those guns off of them rather than focusing on the issues. I remember asking Premier Ford what he would do with Ontario's share of the more than billion dollars it will cost for the current gun buyback, and he went on at length about helping troubled neighborhoods with school programs, with after-school programs, with job programs to get kids away from the gang life. Those are real solutions to Ontario, uh, uh, Ontario's gun problem when it comes to streets being shot up. What Stephen Del Duca is offering is pandering. It's a politician saying that they're going to do something when really all they're going to do is accomplish nothing while making lives miserable for people who have done nothing wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Share this on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.